So we're almost always and endlessly, obsessively putting other people on trial inside our minds, judging whether they've offended us or not and whether they're guilty, deciding what the, whether they should be punished or not. And then at the end, we have to decide whether we're going to carry out those punishments in the real world or not. And with revenge addiction, the only way to gratify your craving and get that high is actually to harm somebody versus a drug addiction in which you, you know, you're kind of only harming yourself if anyone, right? But with revenge addiction, the entire craving process, the behavior that you seek is harming another person. So let's just talk about the solution side for a minute, because yeah. I think that's where you were really going uh, on this, Gary. And, and the, the solution side is we talked about the addiction toolkit and that's available and that's available for public health officials. But the more powerful, more readily available, easier to use strategy for controlling revenge cravings and eliminating the grievances in your life is called, it turns out, forgiveness. And let me tell you what neuroscientists have found recently about forgiveness.